Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a spoiler free review for Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. But before we go ahead and get on into the review, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I post new bookish content. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, and sometimes other days throughout the week. Also, don't forget to check down the description box below for links to all my social medias, my buddy read discord, and my Patreon. Project Hail Mary is written by the same author as The Martian and Artemis. I have read The Martian, but I have not read Artemis, so I felt like I had a good idea of what kind of story I was going into. It's an adult sci-fi novel, and it's a standalone. And it follows a main character named Dr. Rylan Grace, and Dr. Grace is actually a middle school science teacher, and he somehow gets roped into uh, being sent on this the earth saving space mission and dr grace at the beginning of the book wakes up in the spaceship and the other two crew members that were with him on the flight are dead and he's the only one alive and he has to kind of piece together what's going on why he's on the spaceship what exactly he was sent into space for and eventually he puts all the pieces together and he encounters um, an unlikely i guess accomplice <laughs> during his space mission this book is told in first person point of view and then there are also a lot of flashbacks included in this book that kind of help build up the story, the backstory of how Rylan got where he was and exactly uh, what is going on on Earth. So basically alien life has been discovered and it's this really small being called the astrophage. Um, they're kind of like bacteria and they have migrated from this star system to our sun and they are basically feeding off of our sun causing our sun to dim which has devastating climate effects on earth and eventually earth will die and all the people on earth will die and it's expected to take place in about 20 years so all of these governments and scientists and everybody in the world comes together to create the project hail mary which is the name of the ship and send the most qualified astronauts on a suicide mission to see if they can save earth by finding a way to defeat the astrophage and Rylan actually is not alone the whole time in this book, unlike the Martian. He does get help from another alien species. So in typical Andy Weir fashion, the tone of this book is incredibly light and optimistic, despite the dire circumstances that our characters are finding them in. Literally, Rylan doesn't know if he's going to make it back alive, and he's literally saving his planet, and it really could be dark and depressing, but Andy Weir just writes characters that are lighthearted and sarcastic and always looking at the brighter side of things. So it just adds kind of like a unique spin to your regular apocalyptic type sci-fi story. I also overall liked Ryland as a character. He's a middle school teacher. I can relate. And he's really like underestimates himself all the time. He's not really the most qualified person to be on this mission per se. And he acknowledges that all the time um, that he knows some stuff, but he's not good at other stuff. So it's just kind of nice to have a character that you can root for um, and kind of like recognize that they're an underdog. And at points, Rylan even recognizes that like he's a coward and he needs to stand up and do what's right and do what he can for Earth and his planet. I will say that the premise in this book is incredibly imaginative and realistic. So Andy Weir created um, a possible situation that Earth might face with an alien species that isn't the type of alien species that you typically would imagine. And just the different experiments that our characters had to do to learn about this alien life and to defeat this alien life was just really, really cool and interesting. And this book um, is almost 500 pages long and it is just riddled with science. I mean, I am not a biologist or an astrophysicist or even an astronaut, so I can't attest to like the accuracy of the science in this book but I have a feeling that it's probably fairly accurate in the context and just the way that he explains the science and the science experiments and the biology and all of it to the reader in an understanding way um, was really well done and like I said it is a ton of science and while I did think that that was a really cool aspect of the book um, in my opinion it does bog down the story at times 
So for example, towards the end of the book, we're on page like, I don't know, 400 and something. So I'm nearing the end of the book. Um, there was just like some extra things that went wrong with our character that he had to like find a solution to the problem. And yes, it was a turning point for the story and it kind of like allowed the ending to happen. But I think by that point in the book, I was just like, okay, I'm over all of these problems that the characters come into contact with. I'm over with Dr. Grace having to find a science solution. Like I just wanted the end of the book to happen. Just know that if you read this book, it's going to be a lot of data, a lot of science, a lot of facts thrown your way. But that is just how Andy Weir constructs his stories. And he does break it up with those flashbacks. So he does incorporate some like politics and political machinations into the story just so it's not so like science experimenty the whole time, if that makes sense. And lastly, I really enjoyed the ending to this book. So it really didn't end the way that I thought it was going to. And I just loved the ending. I thought it was so clever and so sweet. And it just kind of fit the story because of the relationship that Rylan had developed with his um, new friend in space. That's really all I can say without giving away too many spoilers. But the ending, I just closed the book and like I had this warm fuzzy feeling inside that I was like, oh, that was like the perfect ending to this story. So I did end up enjoying Project Hail Mary, even though it did take me a little while to get into the swing of things. And all in all, I ended up giving this book a four out of five stars. Okay, you guys, that is it for my spoiler free review for Project Hail Mary. Let me know in the comments if you read this book and what you thought of it. And I will see y'all in another video soon. Goodbye.